in this question the first derivative and second derivative of a function f are given ok this is the first derivative and this is second derivative and the questions are about f ok we need to answer the questions about f this is first derivative now we can make a guess of a function from first derivative ok the function at least we can be sure about the bottom as uh, since this is a fraction so our function must be fraction and when we find the derivative of a fraction we use the quotient rule and we get bottom is square right using quotient rule so the bottom must be x minus 2 and we don't know some polynomial on the top when we find the derivative of this fraction on the bottom bottom is square so and some polyno polynomial on the top anyway this function has this form now we are answering about this function and look at the domain of this function the domain is all the reals except 2 because 2 minus 2 will be 0 and it's undefined okay now we want to answer the first question that is find all the critical numbers of f critical numbers means the, the x values for which the derivative is 0 and for which the derivative is undefined ok so we set the derivative 0 first set the derivative equals 0 that means x plus 3 x minus 1 over x minus 2 square equals 0 and we can think 0 as 0 over 1 and cross multiply ok 0 is 0 over 1 and cross multiply so this one times 1 is x plus 3 x minus 1 is equal to this one 0 is 0 in fact whenever we have a fraction equals 0 bottom has no contribution top equals 0 so we got a product of ok product of two binomials equals 0 that means from the first factor we get x equals a negative 3 that means x equals negative 3 makes this 0 and 1 so these are the two critical numbers now let's look at the x values where the derivative is undefined when x equals 2 this derivative is undefined ok but 2 is not in the domain of this function the function must have x minus 2 on the bottom so 2 is not in the domain so 2 cannot be a critical number so these these are the all critical numbers negative 3 and 1 next on what intervals is the graph of function increasing or decreasing so we need to do a interval test the domain of this function is all reals except 2 ok so there is a whole at 2 and infinity ok this is 2 and the critical numbers are negative 3 and 1 let's, this is negative 3 let's make this is 1 now we divided the whole domain the, the domain was already broken into two pieces because the function is undefined for x equals 2 and we put those two critical numbers so we have now 1 2 3 4 interval to intervals to test we pick a representative here negative infinity through negative 4 any number in between these two any number in between negative infinity and 3 and plug that into the first derivative that means go all the way up plug in here ok let's take uh, negative 4 x equals negative 4 and plug in here negative 4 plus 3 that's negative 1 negative 4 minus 1 negative 5 it's the negative another negative negative times negative positive on the bottom we have quantity square so that's always positive so bottom is always positive and we get negative negative positive so the value will be the derivative will have positive value ok now repeat the procedure take a number in between negative 3 and 1 maybe 0 plug in there ok you get negative pick a number in between 1 and 2 like 1.5 1.5 plug in there ok 1.5 1.5 you will have a positive value 
and pick a number uh, let's say 3 and plug in there 3 plus 3 6 3 minus 1 2 okay 6 times 2 is uh, positive 6 bottom is always positive so this one is also positive okay then we want to use the increasing decreasing test and conclude about the function derivative is positive on this interval means the function is increasing negative means decreasing increasing increasing so we write in this way the function is increasing on negative infinity through negative 3 1 through 2 and 2 through infinity okay I mean 2 is not in the domain so we cannot say 1 through infinity 1 through 2 and 2 through infinity that's the that's how we need to write and the function is decreasing on where negative infinity sorry negative 3 through 1 okay let's move to the next question we need to find the x values at which f has a maximum or minimum so we only need to look at the x values because we don't know the function we only have little bit information about the function uh, which has uh, maximum or minimum it means local maximum or minimum okay local is missing here local max or min and we need to identify which is which uh, let's look at the critical numbers 2 is not a critical number okay only we have two critical numbers negative 3 and 1 on the left of negative 3 is the function is going up and down so at negative 3 we get local max so x equals 3 local maybe let me local maximum at x equals 3 okay local max at x equals 3 and 1 is going down then up okay down and up so local mean local minimum at x equals 1 okay I mean and just from this interval test now we need to find the intervals where the function is concave up or concave down okay so for concavity we want to go for second derivative recall the second derivative given is on the top 2 minus 6x over x minus 2 cubed okay now we do the same thing like the first derivative so we set the second derivative 0 that means this fraction equals 0 whenever we have a fraction equals 0 bottom has no contribution so we get 2 minus 6x equals 0 only the top of this derivative second derivative and solve for x move 2 over negative 2 and divide by negative 6 so x equals move 2 over negative 2 divide by negative 6 so x equals one third okay this is the x coordinate for possible inflection point okay now we do the interval test like last time but in this case for second derivative so the domain of the function is recall i'm from the top all reals except two okay that's the domain of the function and when we set the second derivative zero we got one third so one third somewhere here now we need to test how many intervals one negative infinity through one third one third through two and 2 through infinity we need to test 1 2 3 intervals okay for second derivative pick a representative from any number in between negative infinity through one third you can take 0 plug that into the second derivative here is the second derivative let's take 0 and plug in here okay 2 minus 0 just 2 and 0 minus 2 negative 2 cubed so the whole thing will be 2 over negative 8 anyway it's the negative number okay so second derivative negative uh, one third through two pick a number maybe just one and plug in there okay and once you plug in you get a positive number I'm just writing positive and take a number let's say three plug in there 
you get negative okay so second derivative negative implies the function is concave down second derivative positive means concave up like this shape and negative means concave down so we add we write that down here so f is concave up see you concave up on here negative sorry one third through two and we have concave down f is concave down on negative infinity through one third and union two through infinity okay now finally we need to state the x coordinates x equals of inflection points inflection points means the a point where the concavity changes uh, look at here okay this is the one when we set the second derivative zero we get the candidate for inflection point i mean this is the x coordinate for the inflection point because it's concave down okay and concave up so the concavity changes at one third so one third is the uh, x coordinate of inflection point uh, though the concavity changes at two two is not in the domain okay so two is nothing two is not even in the domain so this is the only inflection point x coordinate of inflection point